Hi guys, this tutorial is about the safe use of angle grinders. An angle grinder has a powerful electric motor which spins a disc at high velocity. In the case of this four and a half inch grinder, the rotational speed is about 11,000 RPM. So the disc spins at close to 150 miles an hour. This enables the grinder to cut through steel, concrete or brick. This is the type of disc used on an angle grinder. It's made from a braze of material and that's what allows it to cut so easily through steel or concrete. There are two types of discs which are used on angle grinders, cutting discs and grinding discs. It's essential that when you're cutting that you use a cutting disc and when grinding use a grinding disc. Never use a grinding disc for cutting or a cutting disc for grinding. Cutting discs are much thinner, you, you can see here the difference in, th in thickness. This is a cutting disc. This is a grinding disc. The cutting disc, if it's used for grinding, it can overflex and can possibly shatter. Before you use a disc, check the expiry date on it. The expiry date is usually marked on, on the label. If you use a disc after the expiry date, there's always the danger of the disc shattering. Before you use a grinder, you need to do a basic safety check. The first thing to check is the flex. Make sure that it's not damaged in any way, it isn't scuffed. Uh, check where the flex enters the grinder. Make sure that that hasn't pulled out or that there are any exposed conductors. Also check where the flex enters the plug. There's always the danger that that can um, pull out or from being stretched over time. Some of the cores in the conductor can become exposed. The second check on the angle grinder is the sec side handle, okay? That must be screwed in tightly. The third check is the, the vents. The vents should be unblocked so that the grinder can cool properly. So make sure that they're always clear of debris. And finally, you need to check the guard on the grinder. The guard protects you from sparks and fragments of the disc that get thrown out towards you. Make sure that that's always in place. Never use a grinder without a guard. You can, there's normally a screw on the side of the guard and that allows you to adjust the angle. I usually set the grinder guard at about 45 degrees and that protects me from um, sparks being thrown back, backwards. The safety guard is an essential feature of an angle grinder. It has two functions. Firstly, it protects your, your hands. If your hand slips off the side handle, it won't hit off the disc. The second function of the guard is it protects you from sparks thrown by the angle grinder. When the disc is spinning at high speed, um, it'll, it'll throw sparks in your, in your direction. So the guard actually catches those sparks. If fragments are, are thrown off by the disc or if the disc shatters hopefully the guard will give you some protection as well and it'll, it'll deflect everything downwards okay now i'm going to fit this disc onto my angle grinder before you use a disc make sure that it's free of any defects um, if the disc is cracked or if there's pieces uh, missing out of the edges don't use it or if you drop it it could, it could be cracked also when the disc turns at very high speed it could potentially shatter if it's damaged in any way. Okay, this, this, this piece fits onto the grinder first. That sits onto the shaft. The disc goes on next. If the disc has a depression, make sure that it's facing outwards like so. And lastly, fit the flange. Just spin it on like that. Make, just make it hand tight first. Make sure the disc is seated properly on this lower piece and that it isn't um, bent upwards. Next, you need to tighten the disc or tighten the flange with a key. Okay. To stop 
the flange and the shaft and spinning, there's a lock button at the back of the grinder. So you need to press that in until the shaft locks and then tighten the disc fully. Don't over tighten it because you could potentially damage the disc. Make sure before you use the grinder that the, the disc lock is actually retracted from the shaft. So, so spin the, the disc to make sure that it turns okay. When you're using a power tool, it's important to wear safety clothing. In the case of an angle grinder, it's especially important because the disc controls sparks and other debris at high velocity. The most important item of safety gear is goggles. Goggles protect your eyes from the sparks and particles of the disc, which are thrown at high velocity. You can also use a full face visor. This gives added protection. The second item of safety gear is a dust mask. If you're cutting stone or brick or concrete, this protects your lungs from dust. The third item of safety gear are earmuffs or earplugs. These protect your ears from the high level of noise produced while grinding. The fourth item of safety gear are gloves. When you're cutting steel, the edges can, can become very hot. They also become very sharp. So gloves will give your hands protection. And lastly, it's a good idea to wear safety shoes. Safety shoes have a steel insert in the toe and normally also in the sole. This will protect your toes in case you drop something heavy on them. Also, when you're working on a construction site or even when you're gardening and working within your own premises, um, you could stand on um, pieces of glass that are in the ground. So it's a good idea to, to wear a pair of these. Before cutting, remove all flammable materials from your workplace. This includes gasoline containers or jerry cans, LPG gas bottles, oily rags, sawdust, basically anything which can catch fire if hit by sparks. It's also a good idea to have a fire extinguisher handy in case a fire occurs. Okay, I'm going to cut this piece of scrap steel with my angle grinder. When cutting, make sure that the workpiece is held securely. You can either use clamps or a vise. Never attempt to hold the workpiece while cutting. If the disc catches in it, it can throw it and cause you serious injury. Cut from the back of the workpiece. If the disc snags or catches in the workpiece, the grinder will shoot forwards. This is always a safe way to cut. If you cut from the front, known as a climbing cut, if the disc catches, the grinder can jump up and potentially hit you in the face. Start your angle grinder. Allow the disc to reach full speed before you attempt to cut. Never hold the disc in contact with the metal before you start the grinder. Once you finish cutting, allow the disc to come to a complete stop before you put the angle grinder on the ground. Otherwise, it may go out of control and spin along the ground. It could hit the power cord or it could even hit you in the leg and cause an injury.
I hope you find this tutorial on safe use of angle grinders useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.